welcome back. My name is Colton from Ankeny Van Builds and on today's video I'm going to be giving you guys an update on where I'm at. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video and the reason is is because on this channel I don't want to make videos just to make videos. I want to have valuable content for you guys to use, to look up to, and to share. So I'm just giving you guys a quick update. I've also been very busy with the Idaho National Guard. I've been sent to multiple different places in the last month to do training uh, to help support some firefighting efforts so that's where i've been i haven't really been able to make a whole lot of videos but i do have some important news to share starting in the middle of september i will start another full van build series this one is going to be on a ford transit it's the 149 inch wheelbase medium roof and once that one is done i actually have another full van build series that'll be followed shortly after that with a 149 inch wheelbase, high roof, uh, non-extended, the medium length one. So there's gonna be a lot of content coming out soon. It's gonna be really exciting. These two are both uh, custom builds. So these two reached out to me. One of them is local here in Boise. The other one is in Las Vegas and he works with my brother. And they both wanted something fairly similar to what I built in the last build series, but instead of in the Ram Pro Master, they want it in the Ford Transit and I think both of their layouts look awesome. They're both gonna be very uh, outdoor, um, extreme sport focused. So both of them are snowboarders, they're skiers, they mountain bike. So that's gonna be kind of their main focus with the vans and what they want it to be used for. So that's what I'm gonna prioritize while I'm building it out and keeping that in mind that they want room for all their equipment, all their tools, all their bikes, and to be able to go camping in it, go travel in it, stay in it for extended periods of time. So that's what the layouts are gonna be and I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, this new software that I've been using, uh, just trying to figure out, but the overall general layout that these vans are gonna be so you guys know what to look forward to here in the next couple months. I don't really know the best way to do this so I'm just gonna hold the laptop up to the screen here so you can see as it's going around it's gonna be a very similar layout to my last one. Uh, it's gonna have a bed in the back, uh, the goal zero underneath, two bench seats with a pullout table underneath the bed, a sink, and then a custom cabinet with an induction cooktop and a cooler style mini fridge that will be able to slide out on drawer slides and an upper cabinet above that. And one main thing that's gonna be real unique with this van build is the bed is gonna be adjustable. Um, he wanted the bed low enough to where he didn't have to climb up and hike up into the bed. Um, and he still wanted to be able to sit up while in bed, but he also needed room for his bikes and having the mid roof, you can't have both at the same time. So what he wants is the ability to lift the bed up and have it supported up top with a separate set of brackets so he can fit the bikes in. And then when he gets to where he needs to go, he can pull the bikes out, lower the bed, sleep, and have the beds either up on the roof or uh, on a little trailer hitch or something on the back of the bike, on the back of the van. So that's gonna be something unique with this build. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. The guy I'm working with is awesome. And all in all, I'm just really excited to get back into building vans, doing what I like doing, creating content for you guys. Because this limbo phase for me, I feel like I've been kind of missing out. Uh, people are buying these vans left and right and people are watching content on YouTube on how to build these. And I feel like I've been, I feel like I've kind of been missing out on that and I want to get back into it. So I'm really excited. So starting September uh, 15th ish is what I'm hoping. Um, you guys can look forward to seeing all of that again. So once I finish this first van, which is the Ford Transit with the medium roof, and I get the other van, which is gonna be the high roof. Here's the layout that he wants. So it is kind of laggy right now, but it's gonna have a, a fixed bed in the back, but it's gonna have a bench seat with kind of a free floating ottoman slash chase lounge type of uh, setup by the slider door with one longer cabinet on the back wall uh, that will also hold the sink and the induction stove. It'll also have a lagoon table mount that will be able to lower down and act as almost like another smaller bed. He said in case him and his girlfriend ever want to have kids, that the kid will have a spot to sleep. It'll also have two upper cabinets with that open shelf similar to the one I had in the last van. 
and then also it's going to be run off a goal zero and we'll have that water port shower in the back this one's not going to have an adjustable bed it's going to be fixed um, and both vans will also have swivel seats um, and this van instead of a cooler style fridge it'll have uh, kind of like the mini dorm style fridge that I had on the last one so all in all, both layouts I think are awesome. They're gonna work out uh, super well. I'm hoping the timing works out. Right now, buying a Ford Transit seems uh, very difficult and very uncertain as far as the times in which they'll uh, be able to get them to you, especially if you order them through their website or like online or through a, like a dealership. Seems like right now the estimated wait time is like three to six months, sometimes even more. So that does kind of make things a little difficult when you're trying to figure out the timing of things. So if you're looking at buying a Ford Transit uh, sometime in the near future, you might want to start looking for one uh, sooner rather than later, just because there's a huge shortage of them right now. So, and I think it has something to do with the, the microchip and having that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about here, but I just know it's going to take a little while to get these Ford Transits. That's what I'm hearing from these guys. So, so all in all, things are looking good. The um, the shop and the house, uh, the drywall is up. They're taping and mudding it today. I might get some clips of that so you guys can see that. Um, hopefully by September 1st, it'll be painted so then I can start moving in all of my tools and get my shop set up. And then September 15th, I'm hoping to st start the van build series on the, this first Ford Transit. I also recently uh, learned about Amazon Affiliate. I don't know why I didn't know about that before I thought you had to reach a certain threshold to be able to do that but if you go back and look at all of my videos in the description I'll have links to all the products that I used on the previous van build and I will continue to do that for these next two van builds and basically what that is is I provide the link if you guys click on that link and buy that product or just click on that link go to Amazon and then buy whatever it is I get a small uh, small percentage of whatever it is that you buy um, so just in case you're wondering a good way to support me that that's probably honestly the best way to do it um, you don't have to do it I'm just saying that the options there for you so anyways yeah I appreciate your guys's patience I'm sorry I've been kind of MIA for a while but uh, starting September 15th I will be back and it'll be the weekly videos it'll be an update it'll be a full van build series so if you don't want to miss out on that if you haven't already please Think about uh, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on it. And of course, the best way to help my channel grow is to leave a comment down below and like the video. So we're almost at 5,000 subscribers, which I think is amazing. So keep helping me grow my channel. I really appreciate the support from everybody. I love getting comments and updates on people's van builds. And especially when they say that I help them out, that's easily my favorite thing. So if you are one of those people, thank you very much for doing that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh, <laughs>